everybody! I'm Kelsey Terrace and I'm here today with the Children's Museum of Cleveland to show you a quick origami paper craft you can do for Passover. Now Passover is a holiday that is celebrated by the people of the Jewish faith. And this year Passover is from April 8th to April 16th. It's a holiday that's celebrated for seven days. Now Passover is, tells the story of the Israelites, or the early Jewish people, in Egypt who were treated as slaves by the Pharaoh at the time. So the Pharaoh was not treating the Israelites very kindly, and so they wanted to be set free. So to try to convince the Pharaoh to set them free, 10 things were sent down that weren't very nice things either. This was trying to convince the Pharaoh to set his, the Jewish people free. Now, of these things, the second was frogs. So today, I'm gonna to show you an origami jumping frog craft. You can use this during your Passover celebration or just for fun if you don't celebrate the Jewish holiday. So, I'm gonna show you 16 steps to fold your paper to make a jumping frog. Now, there's a lot of steps, so I advise that you stop the video after each step and follow along on your paper. Also, we'll include the link to some instructions in case it's just a little easier for you to read the instructions that way. So step number one is I need to get a piece of square paper. And then once I have my square paper, I wanna make my first fold a horizontal fold. I wanna make sure I have a nice crease, which means I wanna press down nice and firm. And then I'm gonna open it back up and I should have a crease line. Step number two is to take that same paper and fold it vertically. Once again, I wanna make sure I have a nice crease line, and this time, I don't have to open the paper back up. Step three, I'm gonna take that same paper and fold it again vertically, right down the middle, making that nice crease line. And then I will open it back up this time. Step four is to take one side of the top of that paper and fold it down to this horizontal line you created. It kind of will make a triangle shape. And then you can open that back up. Next, you want to do the same thing to the other side. You want to fold the top down to meet that horizontal line and open it back up. Then flip your paper over. I made a horizontal line here and I'm going to fold just the top down to that line that I created in the middle. Open it back up and flip my paper back over. Now, if this has all worked out well so far, your crease line should create kind of a plus sign and an X right on top of each other. And these lines, if you made them nice and crisp, will help just fold in and create this triangle shape on the top. So now I have a triangle and a rectangle on the bottom. From there, I wanna take my bottom portion and fold it in half horizontally. Then I wanna take the sides of the bottom and fold them in. Now you'll notice that a little bit of the bottom triangle is getting folded in as well. That's okay, you just wanna make sure this top triangle doesn't get folded in. So I'm gonna do that on both sides. And now I kinda of have a house shape. Now I wanna take my house shape and fold the bottom half up so it kinda of makes a little tinier rectangle. From there, I want to take both corners of the bottom and just fold them in to make two little triangles. And I can open them back up. Now this step was the trickiest for me. I want to kind of take these two spots right here at the bottom and kind of pull them out to create this boat shape. So now it looks like I have a little boat with a sail. After I make my boat shape, you might see kind of a triangle shape here from the creases you already have. You want to fold each side of the bottom down, and now you have kind of a diamond shape at the bottom. Now that I fold the bottom down, I'm going to fold these little flaps of the triangle up and kind of at a diagonal line. That way they can make the arms of the frog. And now that you've made the frog's arms, you wanna make his legs. So you wanna take the bottom and also kind of fold them over at a diagonal 
And if this is working out well, you should kind of have an X shape out of your folded pieces. Two more steps to go, friends. So now that I folded the arms and the legs, I wanna fold the whole frog in half on a horizontal line. And then the bottom part, I wanna fold in half again the opposite direction. And this will kind of create this accordion effect. So my frogs are finished. And all I have to do is press on the back and they will jump. So friends, I hope you enjoyed this origami frog craft. If you haven't checked it out already, please go see cmcleveland.org, click on virtual programs and check out our Passover story time. Thank you and happy Passover.